I'm Shabhavdi and you're watching the Indian Travel Diaries. Today I'm going to talk about Kolkata. Presently the capital of the Indian Eastern state of West Bengal, Kolkata was once the capital of British India. This place has a lot to offer to people traveling to a city. It's more popularly known for its Durga Puja, the exquisite Bong cuisine and definitely Roshogolla. So I'm listing down here 10 top things to do while you are in Kolkata plus a few bonus points. So watch till the end. At number 1, it's the Victoria Memorial. Built between 1906 and 1921, Victoria Memorial is dedicated to Queen Victoria of England. This place is situated on the Queen's Way, very near to the bank of the Hooghly River, has got a museum inside it and is surrounded by lush green garden. This place is very popular amongst the locals as well as the tourists. Situated on the Island of Attractions, very near to the Victoria Memorial, St. Paul's Cathedral is noted for its indo gothic architecture. It was built between 1839 and 1847 and is said to be the largest cathedral in Kolkata and also the first Episcopal Church in Asia. This was also the first cathedral built in the overseas territory of the British Empire. At number 3, it's the Durga Puja. Durga Puja for us is not just a festival, it's an emotion. The entire city dresses up and welcomes everyone with love and open arms. Well, uh, it's celebrated in the month of September or October and we get to see a lot of uh, Puja Pandals as we call them organized by various Bengali associations. There are a lot of uh, creative open air installations. There are uh, various uh, kinds of uh, lighting, creative lighting that you get to see and a lot and lot of color. We Bengalis wait all year round for Durga Puja because this is the time when we wear new clothes, meet our family and friends and uh, celebrate. For North Indians, the Navratri is about fasting and vegetarian food but it for us it's about all kind of food and celebration. So if you have plans of visiting this city then visit during Durga Puja and enjoy the Bengali culture. Number 4 is the Prince of Ghat. The Prince of Ghat is a Ghat built during the British Raj in 1841. The Palladian porch is in the memory of the eminent Anglo-Indian scholar James Princep and the carts refer to a series of steps leading down to a water body. The Palladian porch is beautiful and you can have an excellent view of the Vidya Sagar Setu above. The Vidya Sagar Setu is the longest cable state bridge in India. Leisure boat rides are also available there from the Princep Ghat. So this place is an absolute winner for summer evenings. At number 5 is the Mother Teresa Shorani or the Burial Ground Road which houses many of Kolkata's popular stores, hotels and restaurants, pubs. Well, uh, are you confused about what I just said? I mean, the Burial Ground Road? Well, I'm talking about our very own Park Street. Park Street is lined up by heritage buildings on its both sides. This place, this street has got many popular restaurants like the Mokambo, Mula Rouge, Trinkas and my favourite, Peter Cap. It also has got Fleury's who is the uh, one of the largest confectioners in Kolkata to serve to your sweet too. To the southern end of the street there lies a 250 year old cemetery which houses about 1600 graves or tombs. This was uh, one of the largest non-church cemeteries outside Europe and America in the 19th century. Next on my list is the New Market. It was opened to public, mostly British, in the year 1874. It is also known as the Sir Stuart Hobbs Market, named after the then chairman of the Calcutta Corporation. This is a shopper's paradise and you can get almost anything here. But yes, definitely do not forget to bargain. At number 7, it's the Millennium Park. Millennium Park is in my list just because of the magnificent view of the horror bridge that one can get from here. You can also go down to the Millennium Park jetty and enjoy one of the many 
leisure ferry rides that are available here. Next on my list is the Indian Museum. The Indian Museum is one of the oldest and the largest museum in India. It has got an excellent collection of armors and ornaments, Mughal paintings, fossils, antiques, skeletons, mummies and a lot of other things. You may visit this place if you have time because this is a mix of science and culture and everything under one roof. The nearest metro station to this place is the Park Street. It's very easy to reach and the building is also magnificent. It's British made and awesome. Next on the list is a tram ride at Maidan. The Kolkata tram system is the only operating tram network in India and the oldest operating electric tram network in Asia, running since 1902. The Calcutta Tramway Corporation has been running since its registration at London in 1880. Initially there were horse driven cars and then came the steam locomotives and finally the electric tram car. The tram ride around the Maidan area takes you through the green landscape of the area and also lets you experience heritage. At number 10 last but not the least is the Mother's Wax Museum which is situated right opposite to the Eco Park in Newtown. This place houses wax statues of many famous personalities and has got an entry fee of 250 rupees. It was hard to choose only 10 places in Kolkata, so like I said before about the bonus points, here are a few more. You can also visit the heritage buildings like the Netaji Bhavan, the ancestral residence of Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose, the writer's building which once served as the chief minister's office, the Jura Shako Thakurbari, which was the urban residence of Rabindranath Tagore, the Nakhoda and Tipu Sultan's Mosque, the Metropolitan Building and many such uh, heritage buildings are here to see. There are also leisure parks like the Nico Park, the Eco Park, the Science City. There is also the world famous Eden Gardens Cricket Grounds and Cricket Museum. Kolkata is also famous for uh, the Dakshineshwar Kali Temple and the uh, Bellur Mat of Swami Vivekananda. This is a beautiful place. Come here, visit, indulge yourself in Kolkata's culture and heritage. And if you like this video, then definitely give it a thumbs up, comments below, and please, please, please subscribe to my channel. For our exclusive travel pictures, follow us on Instagram or like our Facebook page. And if you like this video, then please share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel.